Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new to my channel. Today's video is obviously my tanning routine and as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, it is a collaboration with Loving Tan which I'm super, super, super excited about. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would already know that I've started working with Loving Tan and they sent me my first goodie box to try out and I posted like a photo on Instagram when I first tried it because I absolutely loved it and that was quite a few weeks ago now and now that I have tried it for a few weeks and I've exfoliated and put it on and let it last a week and done all, all the process all over again quite a few times now, I thought I would finally do my tanning routine using their products. Now I have decided that Loving Tan is definitely my favourite fake tan that I've ever used and I work at Priceline as a lot of you would know so that means I literally have like a mini pharmacy in my bathroom cupboard and that includes about every single fake tanning brand that we sell in Priceline. And the reason that I love Loving Tan the most is because their tans always look super, super natural and it's really hard to get a bad or patchy or orange tan when you use any of their products, which I find some with some other brands are a bit hit and miss in that kind of area. Now, I think this is because Loving Tan products are predominantly a red-based tan, which is actually quite unlike a lot of other fake tans. A lot of them are either green or purple-based, and I'm fairly confident that Loving Tan is a red and green-based tan. So the foam actually comes out with like a red tinge to it when you apply it, which is why I think it's a red base, but it also has that green undertone just because it makes you look a really olivey, dark kind of brown when, you, when it's fully developed. And as all fake tans do, it has the DHA active ingredient, which is the ingredient that actually develops the tan on your skin. But the thing that makes Loving Tan different from other tans is that it's got another active ingredient that cancels out the orangeness that DHA can sometimes leave on people's skin, like on certain people's skin that don't agree with it as well or it doesn't work as well on. And Loving Tan, yeah, has that extra ingredient that just cancels out any of the orangeness that DHA can leave on your skin and yeah it just makes it look a super nice dark olivey natural color and i've made a list of my top three favorite things about loving tan that just kind of makes it that step up just from any other tan and i promise you guys this is not biased like i've been using this for like three or four weeks now before i made this video to be fully confident in telling you guys all the nitty gritty about it and why it is like the best tan so my three favorite things are the first one, which I'm so amazed by because it's like so different to other tans, is that it is the most lightweight, fast drying tan I have ever used. And as I said, I've used every everyone under the sun pretty much. Well, ones that you can buy at Priceline anyway. And this tan, literally, when you put it on, it dries. When I'll show you the demo soon when I'm explaining how I apply it and everything. Literally after I did the demo of my legs, I could then put my trackies on because it was freezing cold because it's winter right now in Brisbane. I could then put my trackies on before I even started like my torso and my upper body because it was already dry. And when it does dry, like literally in 30 seconds, it feels so, so lightweight and it doesn't feel like a lot of other tans where it feels like you've got an extra layer on you and if you feel like you've got something sticky on your body, it literally, like I swear to God, you could just leave the house and go around about like your normal day all day with the tan on. I never do that because I sleep in my tan on Thursday nights most of the time but if you needed to you probably could walk out of the house with the fresh tan on and just have it sitting there and no one would even notice. That's the other thing why someone wouldn't notice is because I was going to tell you guys later in the demo but I might as well just add in now. The bronzer like the color that you get when you apply the mousse to your skin and like let it develop. The bronzer is actually a really good like indicator color. A lot of them obviously the bronzer is darker so you can tell what parts you missed and what parts you haven't and that kind of thing which is good but I really like that Loving Tan is pretty much the exact same color that you are going to get when you wash off the bronzer the next day or whenever you take your tan off um because yeah I just find that so much easier because then if I see I've got like a really dark patch somewhere I can just like flip over my mitt to like the clean side and just like blend it out so it's all even and it's all going to be like the same level of tanness if that makes sense. 
Oh, and the other two things on my list really quickly, which is a general thing that most tans claim that they do, but I really, really like about Loving Tan is that it fades really, really evenly and really naturally, I guess you could say. Like when you get to like third or fourth day, a lot of tans I find that I've used, you can really tell that you've got like an older fake tan on. It's a bit patchy and just a little bit lighter in some areas and that kind of thing. Whereas Loving Tan, I just feel like you look natural the whole week. Like even though it does get lighter as the days go on, obviously, it just fades really evenly which I absolutely love and the other thing is it claims to say that it lasts seven to ten days I've never left a tan on for a full ten days because I usually tan weekly or just like the day before I have an event or something like that where I just scrub it off when I'm sick of it but yeah it lasts seven to ten days if you take care of it and you moisturize so before I get into my demo of prepping and applying my fake tan I'm going to show you the three most popular product most popular products that loving tan sell because I have all three of them here and I've tried them all and I can tell you guys personally what I like the best they're all really good but just they're all just different types of products for different things that kind of thing so it's definitely just a personal preference but what I've got here is I'll show you the one that I'm going to use in my demo because this is the one I do use as part of my tanning routine every week and that is just the normal deluxe bronzing mousse um yeah just the deluxe bronzing mousse and it's in the color dark so it says deluxe bronzing mousse there and then the shade that you get is there so that says dark oh it's leaking a little bit oh no I just tipped it the wrong way but um yeah they do medium dark and ultra dark I believe and I just got dark just because I wasn't sure about their color range I just wanted to go somewhere in the middle just to make sure but I would actually be really keen to try the ultra dark now that I'm comfortable with this tan because I love it so so much and then we also have the loving tan two hour express version of the deluxe bronzing mousse and that one's just got the black label so you can tell the difference there's those two sorry the lighting's kind of bad the two hour express just has the black label and I got that in dark as well and I have tried this this is actually the first one I tried when I tried loving tan only because I'd never used an express tan before and I was really excited to see what would happen but the only reason I do just stick to my um like normal deluxe bronzing mousse is because I like to sleep in it as I said, I tan on Thursday nights um, just before I hop into bed, put on some loose clothes and then wash it off the next morning before I go to school. It just works better for me that way because I hate sitting around and like knowing that I have to like, yeah, that I can't go anywhere and that I have to have another shower in two hours. That's the other thing because I do do all of my prep and like exfoliating and stuff on the same night that I tan. I literally dread the thought of having to have a really long shower to exfoliate, shave and all that kind of thing then put my tan on and then get straight back in the shower in two hours. So that's why I prefer the long one, which I think is six to eight hours, but you can sleep, for it, sleep in it as long as you like. And the two hour express is the exact same color. It's just like a little bit less dramatic, a little bit less deep, I guess you'd say, just depending on how long you leave it on for. But that one is really good if you're in a bit of a like stitch and you need a quick tan. And lastly, from their range is the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream, and I got that in dark as well. So they have all of their products in all the three shades that I told you about. And this one is more of an instant wash off kind of tan, so it's not a mousse at all. It's a, I think it's a cream. Yeah, it's called a cream. And it looks like this. And I've got some on my shoulder at the moment. I didn't include it in the demo because I don't do this every week. But just so you could see the gorgeous little glow that it gives you. I pop some on my shoulder now. But basically, I use this personally after I've done my mousse on Thursday nights, wash it off on Friday mornings, then I'll pop some of this on whatever body part is showing when I go out on like a Friday or a Saturday or whatever I'm doing that weekend. So I'll pop on my outfit and say it's like a strapless thing, then you can pop it all over your shoulders and it looks really, really, really flawless and nice in flash photography and that kind of thing. It just gives you like a little bit extra glow and also a deeper tan if it's kind of faded a bit already if you're going out like later in the weekend or something like that but yeah it's an awesome addition to your tan and you can also use it by itself which I haven't tried I don't think but keep in mind if you do use it like all over your body you will look quite shimmery and glowy but it is really awesome so if you want to pop on your legs because you're wearing like a mini dress or something like that that can look really good or just on your arms and your legs if you're just wearing like a little skimpy kind of outfit or that kind of thing but yeah collarbones looks really nice because I'm in like lighting right now but yeah as you can tell it would look really good in flash photography when you're going out and stuff like that so that's what I like to do with this one just apply it before I'm going out when I'm doing my makeup and that kind of thing because it is like a wash off like once once a day kind of thing 
So as I already said, my usual weekly tanning routine starts on a Thursday night and I do all of my prep and my tanning all in the one night. It is recommended to do exfoliating and shaving a whole night or like 12, 24 hours before you apply your tan, but it is completely fine to do it the night of. It's just better for your skin to kind of give it a breather, give it that like one day without tan after you've exfoliated and that kind of thing. But it's not the end of the world if you do it all in one night because I do it every week and it works just fine. But basically I hop in the shower and I turn on the water to as hot as I can handle because the hotter the water, the more open your pores become and like a lot quicker as well. And it just helps to like scrub off the tan a lot easier when your skin's nice and warm and your pores are open. And to scrub it off, I'm using the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt. And I absolutely love, love these kind of mitts. The ones that are like square, like the Loving Tan one is, that are double-sided and are made of that like sandpapery kind of stuff. Not those exfoliating gloves that you get from like Woolies and Coles, the actual gloves that have like the fingers like in them. I just love the mitts like this one here and a couple of other brands do them, but oh, Loving Tan's one is so good because it's really rough. It's not too rough for your skin. I have quite sensitive skin and it does the job fine but rough enough that with hot water a little bit of soap if you need to I didn't use soap this time because I didn't actually have an old tan on but if you do have an old tan on that's not budging you can use a bit of soap or you can use a body scrub which I didn't use this time as I said I didn't have an old tan on so I didn't need to exfoliate as harshly as I usually do but you can use a scrub just like the Frank body scrub that I have at home at the moment but I don't always use that sometimes if I just feel my skin needs a little bit of extra like TLC or something I'll do that first and then just exfoliate with the mitt to get all the dead skin off as well and any residue from the scrub so if you do use a scrub make sure you use the scrub first with your hands or a mitt and then just use the mitt by itself with some soap or by itself as I said um, afterwards so you get any residue or anything off your skin and also all the dead skin skin cells and after I've exfoliated my entire body I will then shave everywhere that I usually shave and always shave after you exfoliate just because once you've shaved and obviously a lot of people know especially if you um, are like have a tendency to get shaving rashes and that kind of thing or if you have sensitive skin it really really aggravates the skin even more if you exfoliate after you've shaven when it's like raw and sensitive so definitely always exfoliate and then shave or even just wait the next day if you've like forgotten to shave to do that then because you don't do not want to do it in the wrong order and ag aggravate your skin and make it really sensitive then once I'm done everything I need to do in the shower I will try and turn the water onto as cold as I can handle it's winter at the moment so I honestly didn't do that very well at all but if you turn the water to cold it speeds up the process process of your pores closing which means you can tan sooner after your shower which is the whole point of um, the recommendation to shave and exfoliate the whole night before so your pores are fully closed when you tan but instead to solve that problem and to do all your prep and all your tan in the one night you can just turn the water to cold to close your pores up quicker and then wait like half an hour to an hour after the shower to pop your tan on. Then once I'm out of the shower, I just use any moisturizer that I have at home. Really doesn't matter. I've just got the Vaseline like intensive, intensive care one. And do not moisturize your entire body. This is only to focus on any areas that tend to have tan cling to them. Or you notice when you put tan on, it goes a lot darker in those kind of areas. So most commonly what it's recommended to do is moisturize your toe, sorry, not your toes. I was gonna say your fingers. Your fingers and hands and wrists and all those kind of areas elbows knees and ankles you can moisturize your toes if you want to but i don't really think that many people look at your toes when you fake tanned but definitely around your ankle area and you can just like spread that all over your foot if you need to if you find that area is a bit dodgy with tan knees elbows especially wrists and hands is most important and also lightly moisturize your face if you're going to put tan on your face it's completely up to you and to apply the tan, I am using the Loving Tan Deluxe Tanning Mitt, which is this one here, and I love this mitt so much. Once again, it is the best style of tanning mitt, and a couple of other brands do them as well, but just get either this one. Actually, you guys can get this one because I have a discount code for you. If you purchase any mousse from the Loving Tan website, you can use my name, I think it is. I'll leave it in the description bar below. But you can use my name at the checkout to get a free tanning mitt when you buy a mousse which is such a good bonus because these are the best mitts you can get but as I was gonna say just any mitt that has 
the double sided really soft like felty kind of stuff on it is the best thing ever because first of all double sided is awesome because then if you accidentally get, get tan on the other side it won't go through to your fingers because it's got that felt stuff on both sides and what I also like to do is if sometimes I've pumped out too much tan onto one side, I can then just like apply it to my body and then flip the tan mitt over to the other side that's a bit cleaner and just like blend with that side if there's still tan left on the other side, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does. And what I also like to do, if I know I'm going to use the bronze shimmer, I'll like use one side for the bronze shimmer and one side for the normal tan so I'm not like mixing it together when I'm applying the mousse. And yeah, these tanning mitts are literally just the best quality ever. And I'm so happy that I have a code for you guys to get a free one. Anyway, so as I said, I'm going to just be using the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark, which is my favourite one. I haven't tried Ultra Dark yet. I'd be super duper keen to, but I really like the regular mousse over the Express Mousse, which is the most important part of this. And I start on my legs and work my way up your body. It's really up to you. It doesn't matter at all. I use like about three pumps on each like section of my leg. I don't know. I just pump and see how I go. But you'll figure it out depending on how large your limbs are. <laughs> and I just do that in long circular motions. I guess you could say like oval motions. I don't know. And I start on the larger part. So I start on my shins and calves and then just use whatever's left on my knees and feet just so it's not like concentrated on those bits and then again on my thighs just start in the mid center of my thigh and then work my way out so there's not a lot on my knees or any other areas where it'll cling and then my torso I do like another three pumps I actually find that I need to do two layers on my torso I don't know why I don't know if it's just me or if other people find this that their chest and torso doesn't take to fake tan as well as their arms and legs. I swear my torso just never looks as dark as my arm and legs. I don't know why. It's not this tan. It happens with every tan. No idea how to fix it. So I just usually do a little bit more on my belly and on my like torso area. But yeah, then I do that area. Then I work my way around my shoulders and that kind of thing. Then with whatever's left on the mitt, I'll do my face. And that's only a really light coat. And that'll usually wash off in a couple of days after I use my face scrub anyway. Not the biggest deal. Sometimes I do tan my face. Sometimes I don't. Then moving on to my arms, I do the exact same thing as I did with my legs. I start in the center of like my forearms and like my bicep upper arm what's that called your upper arm and then just make sure I only use little bits on my elbows and the other like bony kind of bits and my wrists and hands and then when I do put whatever's left on the mitt on my hands I then also grab a tiny bit more moisturizer just like on my bare hands and rub them together just so it kind of smooths out all the tan and I'm not like getting it stuck to my palms or anything because I do have that moisturizer on there and I just find it really spreads it out the most evenly that I can Okay, I'm all done applying now and as you can see I just popped on some loose pyjamas to hop into bed. It honestly really doesn't matter with Loving Tan because I wasn't too worried about wearing grey or light colours. I wouldn't recommend wearing white though. But yeah, it doesn't really matter about the colour because I guarantee you the Loving Tan bronzer, it does leave a red tinge when you wake up. You'll be like, oh my god, the inside of my pyjamas are red. But it comes straight out in the wash and looks brand new again, so that's all fine. And yeah, it doesn't really matter about like clinging clothes just because the tan dries so so quickly but as usual as a general recommendation wear loose dark clothes to bed then the next morning I'll hop back in the shower with only lukewarm or cold water lukewarm because it's winter and I'm freezing cold but cold water in summer if you can handle it and only like a 30 second to a minute shower just until the water has run clear and you can see there's no droplets of tan or bronzer left on your skin and then hop out of the shower Pat yourself dry, do not rub the tan because it is still developing. You might get a little bit of a shock actually that the tan looks like most of it's washed off but soon enough in the next few hours and throughout the rest of the day it will develop further and it'll look just like when you put it on the first at first. And that is my tanning routine for you guys. To maintain it, I just use a really good quality thick moisturizer every night after my shower for the rest of the week. And that seems to do the job pretty well. And the bronze shimmer is my favorite way to top up the tan. Say if I want to be darker another day later in the week and it's not as dark as when I had it on fresh, I'll just add some of the bronze shimmer and I'm good to go again.
Thank you so, so much for watching this video, everyone. If you do want to grab some of the Loving Tan products, don't forget to use my code. It'll be in the description box to get yourself a free tanning mitt because I love those tanning mitts so, so much. And thank you to Loving Tan for collaborating with me on this video. I was so excited to finally get the chance to film my tanning routine. And if you guys did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.